Okay, today I'm going to do a planche follow along session. Uh, so I'm going to try and planche. I'm going to work within a five to ten second uh, hold time. So I'm going to go as hard as I can for five to ten seconds. I recommend you do the same with the follow along. Uh, so you just, I'm just going to give progressions as we go. I'm going to warm up with slightly easier ones and then I'm going to push myself as hard as I can. Uh, if your planche is better than mine, just do exactly the same thing. Just push the limit as far as you can for five to ten seconds. So you have to fall inside that window. I'll talk about that as we go. So let's just jump in with a warm up. So two main areas that we need to make sure that we warm up is the uh, hands, wrists uh, and the shoulders. So I'm going to do this at the same time. So I'm going to play around with scapular position going into protraction, retraction, um, and I'm going to play around with the wrists. So I'm going to do some um, peeling up and down of the wrists and the palms. So trying to get through that movement. So I'm not just um, hinging at the fingertips. I'm trying to trying to go through the palm. So trying to peel the palm up, peel the palm back down again. Um, and then I'm also going to play with taking the shoulders in front of the hands to get comfortable there. a little bit of time palm up not too much okay more scapular stuff now so going into protraction so pushing up as hard as I can through the uh, shoulder blades rounding that should feel like a very strong position I'm leaning forwards okay same thing but going up onto toes so protraction up onto tiptoes Pushing forwards. Okay, and warm my hips up a little bit. Um, I'm sort of going for around five to 10 seconds. I'm getting to around a straddle planche. Um, now that's much easier if your middle splits are better. So it just means that your lever arm will be shorter if you have more of a middle split, wider straddle position. So I'm making sure that I warm up uh, through the hips and get my middle split somewhere. So I'll be doing that as we go as well. Okay, short rest, have a drink, and then we're going to go into my first hold. So nice and easy to start. I'm just going to go into a protraction hold, uh, and I'm going to walk my toes in. So I'm going to go in towards a tuck position, but I'm going to keep my toes on the floor. So notice I'm keeping the hip at the same height. And I'm trying to keep the same weight in the hands and shoulders or anything decrease the weight in the toes. Definitely not increasing. What we don't want to do is as I walk in, I'm not dumping weight back into the feet. Okay, rest again. So now I'm going to go into my first working set. I'm going to do a tuck planche. So a nice tight one. I'm going to try and have my hip just slightly higher than my shoulder. I'm going to try and hold the strongest protraction I can for about 10 seconds. Now, if you don't have that tuck planche here, I'd be using a band assist around the hips, still trying to set up exactly the same position, but just have a band assist. I'll do a picture somewhere here showing that. Um, the planche slides, so toes on something that slides on the floor. So it could be some proper sliders. It could be cardboard on a concrete floor. Uh, it could be socks on a polished floor or doing the walk-ins like I just done. So holding that tuck position and walking the feet in and out. If you do have the tuck position, you can hold for five, 10 seconds. Do two or three sets there if it's max. I'm going to try and open up into a more advanced tuck position next.
Okay, so I'm now happy that I'm going into my working sets now. So I'm going to go into a half lay position and or straddle, depends on how it feels. Initially, in my straddle is probably going to be higher hip position. So relative to the shoulders, I'm going to allow my hips to be a bit higher, more of a piked straddle position, which is a bit easier. Uh, and then as I go, I'm going to try and bring the hips down, open the hips. Um, so the height of the hips relevant to the shoulder will come down. So they're roughly the same or just a little bit higher. Uh, and I'm trying to open the hip as much as I can, which is more of an advanced position. But I'll see how I'm going to do. go. Now I'm going to try and work here for around uh, 8 to 10 sets, uh, all within 5 to 10 second window. So I recommend you guys do the same. So around the 8 to 10 sets, depending on how uh, conditioned you are to this, just stay somewhere where you can get good quality for around 5 to 10 seconds. Like I say, use the band if you need to. So I'm also going to now integrate some handstand work into it as well. So I'm going to handstand lower to tuck planche. I'm going to handstand lower to straddle planche. And I'm going to attempt to lower to a uh, half lay position. Normal deal, thumbs up and subscribe would be appreciated. Um, any comments, any questions, stick them below. Any other videos you would like to see, uh, stick them in there as well. I will see you next time. Thanks, guys.